All right, so what's going on, Yelena? We got another hydrostatic problem here. It reads, an open tank has a vertical partition, and on one side contains gasoline with a density of 700 kilograms per meter cubed at a depth of four meters. A rectangular gate that is four meters high and two meters wide and hinged at one end is located in the partition. Water slowly added to the empty side of the tank and at what depth H will the gate start to open? So let's go ahead, get started. All right, so first step, right knowns. Let's see, we got, we know we're dealing with water, right? So we know the density of water is a thousand it is in meters, so a thousand kilograms per meter cubed. We're dealing with gasoline, right? Do they give us that? Yes, they do. Density of gasoline is 700 kilograms per meter cubed. Um, this partition right here, it's four feet high and it goes in two feet, two meters, I mean, four meters, two meters. So that area is eight meters squared, right? Because gasoline goes up perfectly to it. Um, so using density, we're able to find uh, our gammas. Um, gamma of gasoline, yep, that one is equal to, just multiply these by 9.8, you'll get 6867. Uh, newtons per meter cubed and gamma of water is nine eight ten newtons per meter cubed all right so this problem is the same well, same subject as the, the previous one right we want to see at what distance at what height um, assuming we're filling this up will it start to open pretty much go that way so there's a hinge here that means it's going to turn that way um we pretty much want to find that height right so just approach it as you would any other problem we got free body diagram um this is a partition right here all right came out all right so there's a force of gasoline acting on the partition um push it we don't know where it's at right we kind of just put it there whatever force of gasoline there's a force of water again we don't know where that's at either we'll put it right here force of water um here's the hinge let's label this point h so there's a reaction at a hinge right you know from statics and there's oh my bad there's also a h of x right there so um, next step, we'll, we want to start off by finding the forces just like we did in the other problem. Let's go step three. We know the force of water is equal to pressure times area, right? Um, when we fill it up, uh, it's not exactly four times two, the area, right? Because we don't know how much height is required to push the hinge or the partition right there. So it's gonna be H times two. We know the width is two. It's going into the paper times two um, at some height. So just keep that in mind. So this is gamma H A. Now again, this one's pretty simple. Um, we got gamma. We know that one, that one's 9810, right? It's water. It's in Newtons per meter cubed. You want all your units lined up. Your height, you don't know. And again, remember this height, when you're finding the force, the height is just the halfway distance between the water once it starts to open. So it's not four over two, it's H over two. We're looking for H. We'll put H over two times area. The area is gonna be two, right? The width is always the same. Now times your height again. It's not four, it's just height. Cause we're looking for that H. So cool, if you do the math here, those twos cancel out, so you'll get 9810H squared. This is your force of water. 
So that's cool. We got that. Now we want to find where that force, you know what? We do want to find where that force is acting right um, from here to here, length of water. And this is going to be length of gas, gasoline that is. And the reason we want these distances is because at the end of the day, we're going to take a moment about this point. We don't want to take it anywhere else because then we got to find HX and HY and that becomes a bigger mess. So we want to take it about this point. That way we don't have to worry about these two forces and these two lengths, obviously. So yeah, we do want to find where it's acting right, the LW, but hold on, let's go ahead and find the force of gasoline next. So force of gasoline is equal to, um, same thing, right? PA, that is, this was water. So this is gamma of gasoline times H A. Now gasoline is constant, right? We're not adding gas, we're not decreasing it, so we know that area. In this case, um, let's go ahead and put it here. Gamma of gasoline, six, eight, six, seven, times Newton per meter cubed, right? Times your height, which is halfway distance vertically. In this case, the partition's vertically, but even if it was horizontal, you want the hor um, you want the vertical height, even if it's horizontal. Okay, just keep that in mind. In this case, it's easier. It's just four divided by two. And the area is four times two, right? Because it goes two into the paper, this two. It's a height of four. So cool, you're able to get this force at 109, if you do the math, 872. This is Newton's. Make sure my numbers are correct, they should be, but it's always good to follow along and you put this in the calculator, I did this at work. So so cool, we got both forces. Um, now we gotta find where they act. Now look, this is the easy trick when it's a uh, vertical. So there's a lot of theory behind it. Um, for a straight line going down, you take the integral and you get a triangle, right? You know how if you take a, I don't even wanna explain it, but point is, since it's a vertical height, pressure varies linearly. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a new figure right here, watch. This is your partition. And I'm gonna prove it here, just so you can see it. I'm gonna do it a little bit higher. There we go. Sorry, I gotta shade this in, or else it doesn't feel right. Um, this is water on this side, right? This is gas. So water, it's gonna be at a height, we don't know. It varies linearly. So at the very top, it's atmosphere, there's no pressure. As you go down, right, because you know gamma times height, I don't want to write it, but gamma times height, as you increase height, your pressure increases. So this is how the force um, field, or pressure field looks like. It's just like that. And then same thing for gas. Gas is at four meters, so we'll do it like this. And eventually you'll catch on this stuff, right? But I just want to give you an idea of what is going on. This is what pressure looks like for a perfectly vertical surface. And the theory behind it, the easy trick, right? It's that it acts at one third from the bottom, from the big side, or two thirds from the top. So this is probably third is probably like right here. Where I'm just guessing, right? Let's do like you. You know what? I have no idea what the hell I did right there. Erase that. It's like this. Uh, go like this. There you go. That's the biggest. Uh, that's where the location is. So you know that formula. I'll write it down right now. But. That's where the force is acting for these problems, when it's vertical. And then again, one third from the bottom here, it's probably like right here. This one came out a little bit nicer. So that's where that one's acting. This is LW over three, right? From here to here. And this is LG over three from here to here. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and prove it right now, but that's just a shortcut. So you wanna have to do the, the, this equation that I'm about to do right now. So if you wanted to find it traditionally, you could, you just waste more time. So let's do gasoline first. That one is your formula, right? Uh, YCI, A, and then plus YCI. Cool, so for, this is a square, right? So the formula is one over 12, base, which is two meters, it's going into the paper, two, times your height, four cubed. The four gets cubed, not the two, just FYI. Keep a lookout. Um, that's the top part, YCI. So that one, it's just uh, two. We're doing gasoline, right? So. It's just a uh, four over two, the distance uh, on your plate to the surface. So in this case, we're right at the surface. So we just divide four over two. Um, so this YCI is two. Your area is four times two. It's going two in, four height, right? Eight, and that is equal to, oh, I'm sorry. One more term, plus YCI, plus two. If you do that, you get, let me go ahead and move it up in case you can't see, YG is equal to 2.67 meters. Now, 2.67 meters, that's correct, right? Four meters, but it's from the top. So this formula will always give you the from the top distance. So let me go ahead and cloud that. <coughs> Now, it makes sense, right? Because right here, we're doing it one-third from the bottom. One-third of four meters, that's 1.33. Just right, four over three. Um, that means this distance is 2.67. Right there. Let me just go ahead. So I hope you see that. And then for water, you're going to do the same thing, right? Um, same formula. So it's one over 12. We're dealing with the square base is two. The height, we don't know, right? That's what we're looking for. So height will be cubed. Again, it's not four because it's not necessarily gonna go up to four before it starts tipping over. And how do I know that? Because density of the gas is 700. Density of water is 1,000, meaning you need more of gasoline, more volume to equal water in terms of weight if that makes sense so the fact that this is less dense already tells me that our answer for height is going to be less than four so just keep that in mind so we got um yci that one is h over two right uh we won't know exactly where that distance will be um and then our area it's gonna be two, the width going into the paper, times uh, H, base times height, plus H over two, right? There's the, this H over two, same one. If you do the math, you'll probably get something. Uh, well, let's go ahead and do it on this one. H cubed, two over 12 is one over six. So you got H cubed over six over h squared plus h over two cool now again h cubed h squared you have one h on top it's just h over six plus h over two now you have and that is yw is equal to two h cubed oh two h over three i'm sorry from the top, again, measures the distance from the top. Cool, so we got Y, W. Again, this was the shortcut. You know it varies linearly, so you just know it's one third from the bottom. Um, now, since we're taking the moment about point H right here, right, the bottom of the partition, we don't care about the top height, we want this height. So that's why, to, to get this number, it's just H minus 2H cubed. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it right there. 
H, write your whole distance that we don't know yet, minus 2H over 3, which is just H over 3. Then in this case, it's 4 minus 2.67, because we want this distance, not the top, this top distance. So, step seven, we want to take a moment about point H. We know it's going to be zero, right? At equilibrium, at the very instant it starts to turn. Um, if this is positive orientation counterclockwise, that means this is going to create a negative moment. Uh, well, let's start with the gasoline one then. This one's going to create a positive moment, just to make the equation look nicer. So it's going to be Fg times... It's L of G here, but it's Y of G here. doesn't matter how you call it, right? In this case, I'm not even going to put it. I'll just put 1.3. FW is going to create a negative moment. So minus FW uh, times, right? That is this distance, which is H over 3. Again, H minus this h over three uh plug in the numbers now we got well i'm gonna go ahead and move this to this side so i'll get rid of that equal sign actually um fg that is 109 right right here 872 times 1.33 and that is equal to water the force of water actually 9810H squared times H over 3. Okay, cool. So do some math. Got 146, 129 is equal to 3270H cubed. Solve for H, you get H cubed is equal to 44.69. H is equal to 3.5 meters. So that is your answer. That is what it's asking for. Again, just to <clears throat> reiterate, you take the moment about point H because you don't want to deal with these two forces. Okay, and you know these are the only two forces that are acting. I kind of... The orientation doesn't matter, right? But in this case, it's logic, right? Water's pushing in that way. Gasoline's pushing in this way. So that's how I determine the arrows. But don't worry. If you don't get that right, at the end of the day, um, you should. should all fix itself. Um, what else? What else? This, obviously, right? This is a good shortcut. Saves you a lot of time. It's one-third for a vertical surface. It's one-third from the bottom. One-third from the bottom here. Um... Again, when you're doing force of water, don't use four times two as your area. It's asking uh, for the water, right? Once um, you fill it up, at what height will it start to move this partition so that won't be four? Another thing, um, density. In this case, right, um, I was able to tell that this answer would be less than four because gasoline is less dense, therefore you require more of it to combat the water. But other than that, that summarizes this one. Um, I don't think there's anything I missed, but yeah, it's pretty straightforward.